first fusion facility. All right. Thank Thank you. Excellent. Yeah. A good old-fashioned groundbreaking today for groundbreaking technology. Governor Inslee mincing no words in his excitement for this project. And this promise that is Helion could be, when they make this work, world-shaking. Helion Energy is leading the way in the development of fusion energy. In the simplest terms, Helion plans to take two atoms from what's called heavy water, smash them together at temperatures 10 times hotter than the sun to make energy that will power our world with no waste, no radiation, no carbon. I actually have here a, a half a liter of heavy water itself. Uh, in here is enough electricity with a fusion system um, to power a home for 800 years. Government scientists have been trying to create fusion energy since the 1950s, but now private investors are getting involved, calling this a SpaceX moment, launching energy production into a new frontier. UW senior astronautics research scientist Dr. Chris Hansen says the infusion of private cash is the fuel the industry needs. A lot of these companies are trying to do it, you know, in five or 10 years. And, you know, that's a that's a hard ask, a, a tall order. But if they're successful, you know, that's really going to change the face of, of energy for the whole planet. But first, Helion has to actually create that energy. They'll do that work in this 150,000 square foot generator lab, bringing more than 100 jobs to Everett. For now, though, it's still just a piece of dirt. But soon, it could harness the power of the sun. This is a critical time in humanity's future. We have a chance to enable a carbon-free power economy. For decades, the question has always been, when will we actually be able to create fusion energy? And sort of the joke answer has always been, in just 30 more years, in just 30 more years, in just 30 more years. Well, today, without giving an actual timeline, the folks from Helion said they, be, they believe they'll be able to make that joke a thing of the past just as soon as possible. They begin their work here in Everett just as soon as their new building is completed early next year. Live in Everett, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.